Hey what's up guys this is KD Cloudy and in my last video about Paranoid Android I had a bunch of comments asking me how to flash custom ROMs on the Google Pixel and usually to those comments I'd just give them a link to a nice tutorial I'll find on YouTube but this time I had a hard time finding one. So I thought why not make one myself. So yeah this is a complete guide from start to finish a one stop shop for every one of you who wants to flash a custom ROM on your Google Pixel which is called Sailfish or even the Pixel XL which is called Marlin. But either way there are four main and long steps to install a custom ROM and they are first unlocking the bootloader, second is getting a custom recovery and third is installing the ROM and lastly and the fourth one is installing the G apps. Now before we go on to the four steps we have some warming up that is some prerequisites. First is getting the ADB and the fast boot tools set up which I will link in the description. This is basically a way for your PC to communicate with your phone's core software components and with this you don't need to go to the ADB folder and invoke commands from there as you see on a lot of other tutorials and it's a lot simpler as you will see later in this video. Next we are going to download the custom recovery in this case TWRP or TWOP. This is simple as well and you don't need to install anything on your PC just keep it on a folder. Next is downloading your desired custom ROM. Now for the purpose of this video I'll basically be installing Paranoid Android but you can install any ROM and it depends upon your choice entirely. This too you need to keep it in a folder and it'll help if it's the same folder as the previous one. Now the next step is downloading Google Apps or G Apps from this website called opengapps.org and you have to go for ARM64 G Apps for this and any package size micro mini or stock will work just fine. I went for stock because that's just my preference but uh, again you need to download this and place it on the same folder. And lastly on your phone you need to go into developer options and then turn on OEM unlocking and USB debugging on your phone and now connect your phone to your PC and then we are set ready to follow the four steps. For this you need to keep in mind that you will lose all of your data so yeah it's a good idea to have a backup. Now just hit shift right click while being on the ROM folder and here type a command called fastboot reboot bootloader. Now you might get a prompt on your phone just hit that check mark and hit ok and now your phone will show up a bunch of nerdy hacky looking text. Relax that's just totally normal it's called the bootloader of your phone. Now back on your PC you need to type fastboot flashing unlock and hit enter. It'll again ask for confirmation and that's ok just press the required buttons and congrats step 1 is complete. Now this is a tricky part and it's different from older phones for this you again need to get into the bootloader mode and run a command fastboot boot and hit the tab key until you see the twrp file name and once you see that just hit enter. Now if you see the slow on your phone congratulations step 2 is also complete. Now this step is easy just hit the wipe button on to up and then advanced select these partitions and swipe that bar at the bottom and then you need to go to this advanced tab and tap on adb sideload and hit this swipe bar again. Now on your PC just write this command called adb sideload and hit the tab key until you see the paranoid android file name or your custom rom file name and hit enter and then you'll see on your phone that it's downloading the whole package and installing it simultaneously and it's going to take a while but when it's done congratulations you have completed step 4. Now lastly you need to go to the reboot tab and hit reboot bootloader and you'll get back to the screen. Now on your PC you need to repeat step 3 and get into top recovery again and go to adb site load and type this command adb site load and then hit tab unless gapp show up and hit enter and then it'll take a while to install everything and once you're done just hit reboot system it'll reboot the system and congrats the fourth and final step is complete and you have a custom rom up and running on your phone just keep in mind that on the first boot it will take a while and when it does just enjoy your custom rom experience that's been it thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers